Hey everyone, I just wanted to share some information about something that I love, and that's essential oils. Um, I have some of my favorite essential oils. I have five of them that I want to share with you today. Um, the best thing about essential oils is that they are a natural way to take care of your family. So when I get a medication for my family, I know that there's going to be side effects. There's going to be different problems um, that are always count for counteracting the chemicals that we put inside of our body. With essential oils, you're not going to have those side effects. Um, what's your favorite one? There's, there's so many f amazing side effects on um, TV. You'll hear, you know, you might die. That's a good one. Okay. Um, bleeding in the urine. Um, passing out. You might want to, um, <laughs> you know, depression. You know, this can lead to blurry vision. Don't drive. So these are some of the really interesting side effects that they have for them. So I'm a lot more for these where I can give them even to my youngest who's 10 months old and I'm not worried about it. So um, some of the things that make essential oils amazing is that they can actually pass the cell barrier. So when we get viruses, they house themselves inside the cell and the essential oils are capable of going through the cell barrier. Now, medication doesn't do that. That's why they say viruses have to run their course. It's because they can't get the cell barrier to kill the virus, not without killing the cell as well. So that's a really tricky situation. Well, these are natural. And herbs and all these things like frankincense, lemon, they've all been used for thousands of years. And they have... Um, made a huge difference in lives by the thousands. Just because as you use them, you start to learn that they really have a divine creation for them, and they have their own protective abilities. Um, whether it's lemon or frankincense, a lot of oils, um, they bacteria can't grow in them. So when you take them, it fights off bacteria. It, help, it gives your body something to fight with. Um, viruses can't grow in them. They all have their different abilities, whether you're using tea tree, oregano, melaleuca, lemon, uh, mandarin. They all have their things that are able to help you. And I just want to give you a couple of my favorites and show you what they can do. Number one is probably going to be lemon. Now this is the number one most used oil. It is used for everything. You find lemon scented uh, lotions. Most often you see lemon in the kitchen, you know, lemon scented soaps, um, lemon scented disinfectant, all sorts of stuff because it's a very clean, brisk smell. Um, it's a mood lifter for depression. It, um, it is amazing for anti mold, antibacterial, antifungal. Um, anti lots of stuff so it is used probably the most it is also used for um, liver and kidney support that is huge because our livers filter all the toxins out of our body so it helps filter the liver so it's able to help us by helping our liver so this clears the toxins out of the body so if you're trying to do a detox um, so detox the liver inside you can detox the outside you can detox your home you can do countertops. Put a couple of drops of this in your spray bottle. Does amazing. If you get fruit from the um, from the store, detox that. Take a couple of drops in that same spray bottle and just wash it off. It'll clear off all the different things. It's able to break down petrochemicals. You take a drop of lemon oil. You take a styrofoam cup and you drop it in there, within a few seconds it'll eat a hole in there because this is very condensed. Now it does that because it breaks down the petrochemicals. So all these chemicals, it's able to break it down. So we have a lot of chemicals. Microwaves, um, all the chemicals that we have in our um, atmosphere. There's so many things, chemicals in our food, processing. This helps break down those things so that your body can function and clear out all these toxins. So this is a huge one. I would is the number one most used oil because it is 
supposed to be the number one. It is amazing for what it does. It, um, I couldn't rave about it enough. I love this oil <laughs> and I, um, I keep it um, in little diffusers around my house to make it smell good for the mood lifting and just, just a clean smell. Just so clean and it just smells so good. Um, it also helps with digestion and heartburn. My husband gets heartburn. Um, it helps break down, um, helps your body break down food. So um, if you're getting a lot of heartburn, put a couple drops in your water um, for your meals. It wipes it out quickly. It's really good for all of that stuff. Um, frankincense is going to be next. Now with frankincense, I love it because I had a baby. And it was given to the Christ child. So there's a reason why it's amazing. <laughs> it was known as a very um, amazing herb thousands of years ago. It actually comes from a tree. Um, but it is one of the most soft, effective oils I could recommend to anybody because it's so soft you can use it for children. It, um, and it really, when, um, when my son was in the hospital, I used it a lot on him just helping support the body, just for anything that, if you have children, it is called the king of the oils. So if you have something that you need to use it on, you can't figure it out, put frankincense on it. Um, it's amazing for that. It, um, it helps with depression and inflammation, um, all that sorts of stuff. The reason it helps with depression is because there are not very many oils that can break the blood-brain barrier. And even oils, the blood-brain barrier, looks like this and it's a netting and they, it doesn't let chemicals through for good reason you don't want to let a lot of chemicals through there or bacteria or but it's very very tight like it's a it's a web netting and not much can get past there they are finding some chemicals now that they're so small that they can get through there and that's um, different things with like depression medicine or if they're doing radiation for brain cancer and they all have their place but once you start messing with the blood-brain barrier you have a lot of problems. You have to be really careful with it. But with frankincense, it's so it's so soft that it can help with brain injuries because it can work. It's, the chemicals of um, frankincense are so small, just like I was talking about with the chemicals that they use. It's so small it's able to get through the blood-brain barrier, but it doesn't cause harm when it gets there. So that's why people can use it for depression and for anxiety and for different things like that and head trauma um, you know if my son um, falls and bumps his head because he's learning to crawl and walk and um, this is what I'll put on him and it just kind of keeps everything stable um, and keeps the trauma from sinking in so I love this one if you have children this was the most amazing one um, next one is ginger this one is so awesome for me. If you have problems getting really nauseous when you're pregnant or any other time, seasick, anything, ginger is amazing for settling the stomach and for many other things, but it will help with digestion. If you're nauseous, put a couple drops in your drink and drink it, it settles your stomach. You can put it on your arms right here in your major blood vessels and the body can pull it in and use it. Put it on the bottom of your feet. Um, even smelling it can help. Um, so an interesting fact about essential oils. The reason why essential oils are so much different than just drinking a cup of ginger tea is that peppermint, for example, is an oil that if you, just one drop of peppermint is equal to 28 cups of peppermint tea. So are you going to drink 28 cups of peppermint tea and then you become waterlogged because you're so full um, or you can just do one drop, rub it on and you have the benefits of peppermint tea which isn't one that I have here but it's a great one for also for a mood lifter, um, for nausea, different things like that. So with ginger, one drop of this is going to be a lot more condensed than trying to pop a whole bunch of pills, um, you know, different, you know, ginger capsules, um, ginger tea. This I suggest just using a couple of drops as a dose. A dose of essential oils is just um, two to three drops. That's a dose. So that's what I would use for all sorts of that great stuff. Um, if you have morning sickness, um, 
if you have arthritis. Oh, it's really good for arthritis. Um, diarrhea, gas, I would use that one. The next one is cedar wood. Now, I grew up with my dad working at a lumber yard. So he would come home and smell like cedar. And it is the best smelling oil to me, like puts me in a good mood. So I started researching it and found out that it is actually a mood lifter, not just because it reminds me of my dad, but because it is actually an amazing um, mood lifter. Um, it is also um, good for grounding, focusing, um, anti-inflammatory. Um, it's great for the pancreas. Um, it is uh, great for toxins, um, as well as with the lemon oil. Um, I put under my feet to ground, um, or right before bedtime. This is a good one to help you sleep, because it's so calming, and it's a mood lifter, and it just kind of makes you feel like, okay, everything's okay in the world. So this is a great one. Um, and if you have um, pancreas, uh, blood sugar, um, I've had some of that. My family deals with um, blood sugar things um, where they get off and you get a little shaky. Um, cedarwood is a great one for that. Um, I love this one. There's a couple, the last two oils that I have, cedarwood is one of the ones that the first three I've heard a lot about, but I, I wanted to share with you some of my other oils. And franken, um, frankincense, lemon, and ginger are some of the ones that I love, and a lot of people talk about them, but you can't find a lot of information on cedarwood. Um, and that's one that I really hold dear because um, it reminds me of my childhood. So um, the last one is... Um, Mandarin, and it's cool because it's good for your skin. <laughs> um, acne. Um, it's anti-infection. Um, um, it'll clear up any breakouts. Um, it also helps um, detox because it is a citrus, so it will help um, detox the body. Um, it's antifungal, antibacterial. Um, um, and it is a, an emotional lifter. So if you're having a lot of emotional if, issues, try that one. Um, mandarin, I use, I, I love to eat it. I love mandarin oranges. They're so good. Um, and come to find out that they actually have packaged it in a cute little package. <laughs> and you can use it and um, get the benefits from it too. And I spend a lot of time, I've spent a lot of time with oils, but I, you don't hear about that one very much. And I love mandarin. Um, that's another one I would keep around, especially if I'm dealing with someone that has um, an infection, if they have a cough, it's bacterial, viral, whatever it is. That one is a great one to help. Well, guys, that is just a few of the essential oils. I literally have tons of essential oils because you can't just package everything into five. There are hundreds of essential oils. Um, I focus on about 40 to 50. Um, and they all have their different benefits, whether it's mood lifting, infections, um, calming. You know, we haven't even gone into lavender and tea tree oil and some of the really, really important ones, and they're really popular because they've proven time and time and time again that they are worth it and that they really can make a difference. And I really hope that you enjoyed this video. Please like below. And let me know what you think. If you have any other questions about other oils, I'd like to do some more videos. Just let me know. And I hope that this helps you get started with essential oils, natural. If you're looking for something alternative to the medicine that you're going through and you're having problems with all these medications they keep putting people on, I hope this is a journey for you that you can try. And that really you're able to get into and really use the benefits of it because there's so many amazing benefits and there are so many amazing things that you can do with them not just for medicinal I mean I cook with a lot of my mind so you get it in inside and um, there's so many great things so I hope you guys have a great day and I hope all is well with your family so here's to your health